Hey, hello guys. Welcome to Logo Grid Wizard Tutorial. Uh, this wizard uh, will allow you to work with logo, drag and drop. Go to Logo Grid item. Here you will find some refitter. And from here you can add more refitter if you need or close. Hit on the first first refitter and go to middle library to select the logo. And you can do the same thing for every single refitter. And keep continue selecting logo. For every single item. Logo item. And see every logo are taking their place. You will see website URLs. You will be able to add URLs uh, to every uh, logo, and also uh, also brand name and descriptions. Now I'm going to first one here. I'm selecting tooltips. I hover on the logo and see the work of tooltip. And from placement sec placement, uh, you can set uh, the tooltip positions. The check preview. Tooltips in bottom place because I said bottom. go to layout section here you can set a style plus border or box I'm selecting border and see logo are there there are there are border around the logo now flash and see there are flash signs between every single logo I'm going back to box from columns I'm selecting I'm selecting column item as well as uh, with image size from image size you can set image of the logo size uh, item uh, item height will allow you to set the height of every logo now go to tooltip settings so from animation sections so you can set any one according to your design I'm selecting scale check the preview and see back to local grid again and from placement set top I'm setting offset now. Check it out and see tech tooltip has take offset. There are two placement because I have set placement from two locations. Distance say distance. Check again and see the distance of tooltips from logo. Check the yellow switch button. Sorry, arrow arrow selections. Arrow. Get to tooltip and said width. No anchor 
Well, I'm selecting color. Per arrow button. Or arrow background and selecting this time so I'm selecting arrow color. And see hover and see the tooltip background color and arrow color. Now go to style tab and select background color in normal mode for every single logo. And see background color has changed. You can connect border width or border color. We go to in hover mode and set border color and hover and see color has changed. Back to normal mode again. I'm reducing border width. Go to CSS filters and here I am I'm giving saturation zero and see every logo has changed in black and white over and see the original color. It's looking great. Go to box shadow and see the shadow under every every single logo. I'm setting particle value and blur. I am reducing opacity of color and see the output.